the French. Bah! Does anybody remember Napoleon Bonaparte? Yes. General Napoleon Bonaparte. Yes. Oftentimes, generals and admirals, they get what is called a general complex. <laughs> they think we have to have a war. We have to take over the world. The French Revolution! Bah. Now I remember there was a man named Hollande. <laughs> ah! huh. When the president of France was first elected. Yes. <laughs> Rock Hussein Obama had asked me to introduce Hollande. <laughs> To a little place called Paris in virtuosity. Oh my God! <laughs> Is this working? <laughs> Can you see me? <laughs> now in virtuosity there were some problems. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there were parts of virtuosity that were very decrepit, very bad. <laughs> and I got to tell you, it could be that the North Koreans are listening in. <laughs> I don't know what the French are doing. <laughs> Spall calling! <laughs> I've had some difficulty. Yes. <laughs> With some generals and admirals that thought they had to take over the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, when Holland was first elected, <laughs> well, the president of the United States thought it was a good idea that he visit me in my <laughs> in the fifth wheel. Thank you, Mike Van Prime. <laughs> Kingsway wouldn't want me claiming ownership to an old fifth wheel. <laughs> now, I explained to the president of Holland. Yes. <laughs> How virtuosity was really a game of who could conquer the world. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now, as I understand it, there were all kinds of armies. Yes, virtualized armies. Oh, my. I remember. Wow. Oh, when, I, when I first got. When I first got. When I first got to squint. Yes. yes. And I told Chris, I said, I want you to sit on Ken Williams, and I want you to shake him up. The old-fashioned Navy way. Now, I know. Fujin Tao and myself, we had a little talk. <laughs> we sent in the Red Army, and we turned them silver. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we wiped out everything. <laughs> everything that was built in the virtual, we wiped it all out. Oh. <laughs> then we sat back and waited the next day to see what would happen. Oh. <laughs> well, lo and behold. <laughs> in the virtual... <laughs> You could make things very fast. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you could make a virtual building in like one second. <laughs> I always treated the virtual as being reality. That's right. <laughs> I myself, the president of Timbuktu, <laughs> I make up the rules in my kingdom, <laughs> my country, <laughs> my corporation. <laughs> as the president of Timbuktu, <laughs> Tim Buck too. Tim Geithner, shut the fuck up. Oh, could you wake up the former secretary of the treasury and ask him what the fuck he's doing? You know what? You need to take your hand off your dick. Okay. <laughs> I am the huh, president of Tim Buck too, not Duck too. Huh? Oh, look at that Nike. Just do it. <laughs> Phil Knight and myself had a talk one day. Yes. <laughs> He decided to give away his vast fortune <laughs> so as to increase the number of swimming pools throughout America. That's right. <laughs> and the amount of clothing and uh, work conditions of those in Asia. <laughs> and I wanted to thank Phil Knight right now as president of Timbuktu. <laughs> Phil, thank you for giving up all your money. <laughs> you know? <laughs> now... Is this working? 
as the president of Timbuktu. Yes. <laughs> I'm the one that sets the rules in my country. That's right. <laughs> now, I've been planning for a large war. How are you doing, Andrea? Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want that to happen. <laughs> Let's say you run the president over, and I'm from Timbuktu. <laughs> How many times <laughs> could you kill a person in virtuosity? Yes. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I was staying at my grandma's house. <laughs> and uh, my mother-in-law, June Irving, <laughs> was making a movie and had decided to, to call it quits. <laughs> and I told my mother-in-law, <laughs> Heidi's mom, June, <laughs> the star of so many shows. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I said, if you kill yourself. I'm going to lay hands on you and bring you back to life. <laughs>